Good morning, kindergarten. This is Miss Camp, and I am showing you the end result of your first day working on your mouse collage. Now remember, a mouse collage or a collage is when you glue paper to paper to make an artwork. So this is what it should look like after day one. I'm going to show you how to do that. Choose your background color, then get a square piece of paper. You'll have one of two choices. You're going to trim the corners off. One, two, three, and four. Don't throw those away because you'll need them. The next step is you need to glue the body. Flip the paper over. Take your glue and go all the way around the edge. And I like to do it not on my background paper because I don't want to get glue on there where I don't want it. Once you get it all the way glued and the corners and the edges are nicely glued, then we can apply it to your paper. And I'm not going to put it all the way to the bottom. And then I just kind of rub it in. So I'm going to rub it in for 10 seconds and kind of hold it down so that it stays on there really good. Okay, the next step is you need to pick out your head. I chose pink for mine. Violet is complementary to yellow, so I thought that was a good color. Okay, there's the head, and now I'm going to need to add some parts where my eyes can join in to my artwork. So I think I'll choose these two because they seem to be equal in size. And I'm gonna put the straight parts near one another. So here we're showing that purple appearing again, which can sometimes look nice in an artwork to have a sense of repetition. And these, the way these eyes are looking right now, they look a little bit sad. So we'll need to put the circle parts or the triangle parts in there. Okay, and then next I'm going to add um, my ears. So you could just take a small piece of paper, fold it in half, and you can choose whatever shape you want. Square, oval, triangle, circle. Mice usually have pretty big ears, so I'm gonna do mine like an oval. I'm going to put those on there. And you do this one step at a time, and your teacher will help you work through this one step at a time. And remember, it's always so, 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 so important to put your name on your artwork. So depending on which kindergarten class you're in, if you have Mrs. Moss, then you'd put an M. If you have Mrs. Bell, you'd put a B. If you have Mrs. Vandenberg, you'd put a V, K, and then V. So you're gonna put your name, K, and then the first letter of your teacher's name. All right, I hope you have fun doing this.